19 is called off leg pivots. One to two minutes. With the disc in your off hand, do some even out work by pivoting deep, low, powerfully, and quickly on your non throwing leg. Alternatively, try three to four sets of 12 to 16 pivots. This can be by throwing stretchy off hand throw, which he calls more fun, or by doing a minute long set of off leg pivots, which is harder and more necessary if you're throwing a lot. Um, it's harder because it's working your body more. The goal is during any throwing session you're likely to pivot many more times on your throwing leg than on your non-throwing leg. This can have bad ramifications for injuries, you know, if you're righty then right, leg, IT band tightness, you know, hamstring issues, things like that, and for your running form especially. You can help this by evening out the distribution of strength and work. This is only one or two minutes, if you want to push it you can do it a couple more, just you know, three to four minutes, just make sure that you're getting that balance work in. Um, which way did you remember doing it? Uh, I just did kind of lefty stuff with both forehands and backhands to try to go around. Yeah, so I think I would recommend doing the off leg pivots because, you know, the stretchy offhand throw. In other routines, we sort of do that, but I find more value in working on the pivot to balance than working on your left to throw. That's how I sort of look at it. So okay. we'll just do a couple demonstrations of that. With this, we're actually not even throwing it, I, I don't think, right? We threw it just because it's more fun, but yeah, you can okay. not throw it. So like Ben said, it is more fun, but for this purpose, we'll just sort of work on the pivots. And there's actually a video that just came out. I um, can't remember the link. I'll put a link here. In the bottom but um, they were working on the pivots as well and just making sure that you're moving around okay and, you, and you're gonna be able to feel it in the hip flexor probably in your quad maybe in your IT band hamstring maybe and definitely working that right knee This is an important concept from the gym as well. When you're working out, you should be doing a lot of balance work. We never want to be off balance. For most of us, I'm sure our right side is a lot stronger than our left side. 